Nintendo's 2022 is already shaping up to be one of the best years of the Switch so far. We already have so many amazing games lined up for release, from Zelda to Splatoon to Kirby and Bayonetta. But there's probably even more first party games we don't know about that are lined up for 22 and are yet to be revealed. In this video, I will discuss where I think that the February Direct is going to be those games' time to shine, creating one of the most awesome Directs since 2017. Over the last few years, the Directs at the start of each year have all been pretty crazy. In 2017, we got the Switch presentation, which fully revealed Mario Kart 8, Splatoon 2, Xenoblade 2, Mario Odyssey, and gave us the ultimate trailer for Breath of the Wild. In 2018, we had a Direct Mini in January, which revealed Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, Mario Tennis Aces, and Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. In March of the same year, we got the reveal of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion, and Super Smash Bros. for Switch. In February 2019, we got a Direct with Mario Maker 2, Astral Chain, and The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening Remake. In February last year, we got Pyro and Mithra in Smash, yes! Let's go! Mario Golf, Skyward Sword, and Splatoon 3. Safe to say, the first Direct or Directs of the year are normally mega. But this year, I have a theory as to why the February Direct is going to be one of the best Directs ever. Essentially, I think that the February Direct is the only smart time to announce any of the final games that are set to release this year. I'd say around five more games at the maximum are yet to be shown. This is mainly because the range of first party Nintendo games released each year in the Switch's lifetime so far has been roughly 5 to 10 games, including Wii U ports. 2022 has a lineup so far of around 5 big first party games, those being Pokemon Legends Arceus, Splatoon 3, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and Bayonetta 3. Call it a feeling. Call it a hunch, but I don't think we've seen the full extent of Nintendo's lineup for this year yet. So, in theory, we could be yet to see five more games to release this year. Especially if this year is going to live up to its nickname of 2017 too. They're unlikely to announce anything brand new for 2022 in the September Direct as the year is coming to a close. But I suppose you could argue that they'll probably spread some announcements out to E3 but I think Nintendo will want to avoid cannibalizing the hype and number of people talking about these new games because everyone's eyes are on whatever they end up showing for the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which will probably have a meteor segment of the E3 Direct along the lines of the segment on Smash Ultimate at E3 2018. There probably will be at least one more 2022 game announced at E3, but I don't think that's the time that they'll want to play all of their cards. February is easily the best time frame to do four of the last five announcements of Nintendo's 2022 games. But what four brand new game reveals could Nintendo have in store for this one Direct? Perhaps we will finally see a trailer for the rumoured Metroid Prime HD remaster, or the rumoured Fire Emblem remake. Maybe we'll see some news about the leaked Xenoblade 3, or even a more recently rumoured game, Mario Kart 9. Unless Nintendo think it would be smarter to do an announcement as big as Mario Kart 9 at E3, because despite the fact that everyone would be mainly talking about Breath of the Wild 2 afterwards, Mario Kart 9 could probably hold its own against Breath of the Wild 2 as one of the main topics of discussion after E3. I honestly think that if we were to get a crazy new trailer at E3 for Breath of the Wild 2 at the same level of excellency as the 2017 Switch presentation trailer for the first game, along with the announcement of Mario Kart 9, and of course a bunch of other new stuff, everybody would be talking about Nintendo. If you'd like to hear more about my predictions for this year, I already have a video on 2022 predictions that will be linked in the card above. But I digress. Maybe instead of Mario Kart 9 in the February Direct, we get something awesome like ARMS 2 to fit in with the whole 2022 is basically 2017 2 thing. They could also do something crazy like a new Star Fox or new 2D Mario, both of which acting as catalysts to revamp the franchises into something different to allow for new and fresh ideas. Or maybe they'll announce a brand new Nintendo IP. Or they'll just port one of the final Wii U games yet to be ported to Switch, such as Nintendo Land, which honestly I think is the most likely option for this final game slot. So, to round everything up, 
February is the best time Nintendo could announce four of their last five big games for 2022. And I think the lineup of games will be the Metroid Prime HD Remaster, a Fire Emblem Remake, Xenoblade 3, and a Nintendo Land port. This would make for an amazing direct since normally there's only three big first party announcements in each direct. I am aware that this is a relatively speculative and overly optimistic theory and an even more speculative and optimistic lineup of games. But in the end, it's improbable to anticipate any of Nintendo's actions, so this is just a bit of fun. Maybe take this theory as the theoretical best case scenario. Well, what do you think of my first attempt at a proper Nintendo theory? Feel free to tell me about your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed, please consider giving the video a like and subscribing if you haven't already, as I have plenty more Nintendo theories and discussions planned for the months to come. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.